Okay, now we've got our text labels, our sticky notes, and our symbols. It's time to add some photos and even videos to our board. I've got a finder window here open with a few photographs that I've found of Tokyo and other places in Japan. And all I'm going to do is click and drag one of them onto my board. That picture will then be embedded straight onto my board, and by default it will have some nice rounded corners and a subtle drop shadow. It's hard to see, but I'll zoom in gently for you now. It is very subtle, but it just makes the picture stand out a little bit from the page. Of course, if I right click, I can turn off the drop shadow and the rounded corners, or any combination of those two to perfect exactly how this looks. And I can add more than one picture at a time as well. If I go back into my finder window and select the other ones by holding the command key down, I can then drop multiple pictures on at once and rearrange them however I like. There are other ways I can customise my images as well though. In fact, all those shapes that we used in the last video, every single one of those could be used to customise the shape of our image. So for example, if I grab a circle and then just resize it to cover my image, and then all I have to do is click and drag a box that highlights both my original photograph and my circular shape. And then by using the format toolbar and going down to image, I can then mask it with that shape. I can change the zoom of my picture and readjust it in that frame, and when I press done, I've now got a lovely circular photo instead. I'm going to go ahead and do this to all the rest of my pictures after this tutorial's finished. But one last thing to quickly mention here is that you can embed videos into your freeform board as well. So back into my finder video, I've got this lovely video, and when I click and drag that onto my board, it will embed it there and then with a little play button in the corner. And if you press play, you can watch the video while it's there, and you can carry on working on other parts of your board at the same time. In the next video, we'll have a look at how we can use connecting lines to join all of these random objects together, and to start giving our board some more structure. So, I'll see you in the next video in a moment or two.